redundant from Latin redundantem, all right? Present participle for redonde, literally overflow, pour over, be over full, figuratively be in excess. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great men, so not real well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan, since elect. This is Makazar from the camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. Um, you know, the basis of this video is that, you know, sometimes, you know, people might feel that, you know, the scripture is just it redundant. It's just basically the same thing over and over. You know, men in the truth might feel that we're you know, like young brothers. And, you know, they might say, well, what we would speak about is like we say the same thing over and over. All right? Which is true. The scriptures is repetitive, saying the same thing over and over. Different prophets saying the same thing over and over. But guess what? The prophets saying the same thing over and over, but in different ways. Alright, because what the Lord told us to do, the Lord told us to go and get the unto the tribes of Jacob, you know, wake them up, warn them to turn from iniquity, warn them about the Arafa the chip, which is the mark of the beast, martial law that is coming, World War Three, the destruction of and enslavement of, of our enemies, and the salvation of the elect. Alright? And what what the topics that I named out were just broad topics. All right, you could you could do lessons on those topics in so many different ways. And guess what? The scripture said, "Um, there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Most High gives him basically gives him utterance." All right. So the the Most High, the scripture said in um Luke twenty one, it says, "Take no thought what you will speak, because the Most High will give you a mouth to answer." All right. So although the, the scripture is repetitive, it has so many different topics that you could talk about. You and guess what? If you go on on your on YouTube and you type in GMS reincarnation, you get thousands of videos on reincarnation, all teaching you something different. Topic and um, thousands of topics on World War Three, teaching you so many different things. All right, so do 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 get turned off for saying that you know it's just the same thing over and over. And what we're gonna speak about? Guess what? It comes from studying. When you put in that study, guess what? The most high will reveal entrances onto you that you will be able to teach the word. All right, and the reason why it's repetitive is by saying it over and over and over. Two thirds of Israel can't say they never heard. They can't say well, no. What? Well, I missed that topic. I didn't hear when they were talking about the RFID chip. There's so many topics in the Bible, so I missed that one. Guess what? It, it's repetitive, so it's over and over. YouTube done been flooded with the, the um, videos from Great Millstone from, with the RFID chip so much that, guess what? Nobody can say they miss it. All right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 11. It says, For this commandment, which I command thee this day, is not hidden from thee. Neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it down unto us that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? But the word is nigh, but the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart that thou mayest do it. All right? So the word near unto you. Meaning why? Because it's on YouTube. And, and the video has been flooded on YouTube. So guess what? Nobody can miss. Alright? If, if, the, if the Bible was a whole plethora of different topics, guess what? Then somebody could have said, you know what? I miss, I miss the, the hell doctrine. I miss the talking about Yahweh Shai is the son of David. I miss that one. Guess what? You can't miss it because of thousands of videos that brothers did. Talking about the birth of Yahweh Shai. And showing you different avenues to understand the birth of Yahweh Shai. That he's the son of, of Joseph. Alright? Of the seed of David. 
so many topics on the RFID chip, so many topics on Leviathan, so many topics on the nuclear missiles, so many topics on the chariots, which, which the world called UFOs. So many topics on the same thing, teaching you the same thing, but in a different way. That if you can't understand it from one person, when you see it from another person, that person brings it from another angle, and guess what? You understand it. And you understand it. Alright? Sometimes a brother might go deeper into that particular topic. And this is why the scriptures re more like redundant. It like saying the same thing over and over. So that it will sink in your mind. So that you can't say that I missed it. So then you can't judge me. That's basically what two thirds will do. Say, Lord, you can't judge me for taking the, the uh, for the chip when I never heard your prophet speak about it. I heard them speak about all other all other sorts of, 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 of prophecies, but never the uh, for the chip. Because it's, it's, it's a vast book and there's so many things to teach and I didn't get all the teachings. Now, guess what? The, the scripture is repetitive. And now we in the time of prophecies, now we're going to hear these prophecies more and more over and over. We're going to be like, we're not going to be like, ah, you, I see, you know, we're talking about the law, the law, the law. Guess what? Because the great, the men of great men stone are the true men of the most high, you're going to hear all these topics over and over. Not just one, not just the law. Keep the law and marriage. We, pro we prophesy in the scripture, the, the, the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. In that case with RUIC, then you could say, we don't know about the RFID chip, or we don't know about martial law, or we don't know about World War III, because they don't teach these things. Alright? They're only repetitive concerning the law and marriage and family. But Great Millstone deals with prophecy and the end times. So nobody can say that, guess what? They never heard these topics. Because we've been repetitive on the prophecies, it sinks in. All right, gives better understanding, gives more clarity. All right, and you know, for brothers who who say that you know, you know, what we're gonna speak about is like the same thing over and over. Guess what? It all comes from studying. All right, when you study, when you watch videos, then you get more and more understanding, and you pray and ask the Most High for wisdom and understanding. This is John fifteen verse twenty two. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sins. So guess what? If the men of Great Mills 2 wasn't pushing all these videos over and over again, guess what? They would have said, I never seen um, this breakdown before. I never knew that um, the, you know, the RFID chip is in Mark of the Beast. I didn't know that you know, the Lord coming in, in, in so-called UFOs. I didn't know that. I never saw this video. I seen GMS videos. GMS have you know thousands of videos, but I never saw this one. Guess what? You can't say that because guess what? It's hunt is thousands of brothers from Great Millstone doing the same thing over and over. So you can't miss. As the scripture said, it's not far, but it's very near in your mouth. It's right there. It's right there. It says, He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done unto them the works which none other man did, they had not sinned. But now they had both seen and hated both me and my father. So this is the reason why the words being pushed over and over again. Because they can't, they, they, so they wouldn't have any excuse. So now we never heard that. That is why it's being constantly pushed over and over and over again. Not just by the heads, but by all men. So that you can't miss. You can't miss. Alright? This is the reason why the world is being pushed over and over again. So don't say, well, you know, I don't know what topic to speak about because I was going to preach this topic, but then I seen another brother. I was going to talk about reincarnation, but then I saw two other brothers just did reincarnation. Guess what? That's the spirit. The spirit want to push reincarnation, so do your video. Alright? When you come out on the highways and byways, wherever the spirit leads you to speak about, you speak about. Alright? Don't say, well, you know, last week we speak about nuclear missiles, so we can't speak about nuclear missiles again. Hey, guess what? We need time on nuclear missiles. So if you want to speak about nuclear missiles all the time, you do that. If that is your strong point, you speak about that. Until you get so strong that you bring out information that nobody else knows. 
And then when this when it's time, the spirit will lead you onto something else. So don't get turned off about preaching about the same thing over and over. But as I said, it comes from studying. Learning comes from studying. The scripture says, one plant, the other water, but Yahba Hashem Yashai gives the increase. So the increase comes from the Mosai. And guess what? Really and truly, the increase comes from you. If you put the work in, then you're going to get the increase. If you don't sow your seed and, and, and you know, plow the land and, and water, guess what? You wouldn't get the increase. So the increase comes from you. If you open the door, Yahba Hashem Yashai will sup with you. But if you don't put the work in, guess what? You wouldn't get the increase. This is the final precept. It's Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. So you wouldn't be ashamed. You wouldn't go out there and don't know what to speak about. Because you're studying, you're putting that work in. So you have to put the work in. But at the end of the day, the scriptures are repetitive. It says, Rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, so you have to study to be to be able to preach this word. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahshai, Ba'ashem Raka Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy and rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole hopeful and sincere elect. This is Makazah saying Shalom.